stay tuned to your daily grace inspiration message on feeding on jesus international our thing for reflection today is is believe in your heart speak with your mouth brethren how faith operates in our hearts is by believing in our hearts and speaking with our mouths faith is believing and speaking romans chapter 10 verse 10 reads for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation amen in the gospels jesus told his disciples have the faith of god mark chapter 11 verse 22 the God kind of faith speaks before he sees. When God saw darkness, he said, Light be. Even though the future looks bleak in the natural, beloved, we can be like God and speak forth the good things we want to see. Declare, therefore, that there are plenty of good days ahead of me. Say, all things will work together for my good when joshua and caleb were sent among 10 other spies into the promised land flowing with abundance they were the only ones who came back with a positive report remember the other 10 spies only saw the enemy giants in the land while joshua and caleb saw the giant size blessings the lord has prepared for them when Caleb and Joshua returned to their trip, the ten spies came back with a report of fear. Why Joshua and Caleb came back with a report of faith? They had different spirits. God was in their speech. Joshua and Caleb saw God. They compared the giants with God. They knew God was bigger and greater than any challenge before them. The rest only talked about the facts they saw. What do you want to see in your life? Speak it out. Joshua and Caleb spoke the truth. When people hear you speak positively, they might say you are not speaking the truth, but you are. Truth outlasts natural facts. Our God is a God of truth. When everything has passed away, God will still be there. Those who abide with him will remain forever. Brethren, the arena of spiritual warfare today is the mind. The way we battle the enemy when he throws arguments at you or at us to produce fear, worry, sleeplessness, and anxiety is by coming back to this one thought. This one thought is in scripture. The truth is in the scripture. Psalm, two, Psalm 23 verse, verses 1 and 2. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Mm, the Lord is my shepherd. If the Lord is your shepherd, remember sheep need the assurance or assuring presence of their shepherd to feel secure so see your god as the good shepherd with you he is making you lie down in green pastures and leading you beside still waters yes even though you may walk through the valley of the shadow of death yet will fear no evil because the lord is with you his rod and his staff they comfort you Brethren, you may walk through the valley of the shadow of death today, but you are walking through that valley. You are not remaining there. It is not permanent. The valleys of sh uh, shadow and, or in, and death that you are walk walking through today, the, you walk through them because they are not permanent. It is only for a reason in your life. In moments when things may not look good, bring the good shepherd into the picture let him rest you let him walk through the valley of the shadow of death 
with you so that you so that your fear may cease or so that your fear may disappear or dissipate brother the only one who will come out with you and always be with you is your good shepherd and when you look around you will see that surely some 23 or so surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the lord forever surely goodness and mercy shall follow me claim it and possess it the hebrew word for follow is means pursue or hunt down therefore it means that god's goodness and mercy are not just following you but chasing after you and you blessed get up brethren every day get up every morning and say god's goodness and mercy will pursue me today and all the days of my life when you do this you are putting on the helmets of the hope of salvation hope is the word helps in the greek which means a confidence and positive expectation of good in your future 